Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scott here, bringing you Scott Goes Hardcore. And yes, we're back on our hardcore series. We just had a creeper explode, so let's get into today's episode. All right, welcome back. And yes, we're back on our hardcore series. Very exciting. A lot of requests have been made to revive this series, and we're back on it. So yeah, a creeper just blew up our front yard. We'll repair that at a later date. But yeah, here's our charming little house. Still looks really good from the outside. The inside is starting to show a little bit of its age. Could use some sprucing up with some new furniture designs. But yeah, still pretty nice. Still great views out these windows. Love those views. But we'll be working down in the basement. What we'll be building is a crafting room, an enchanting room, and a portal room. So let's take a little look at our last episode we worked on. We built an automated wheat farm down here. Way back in... Oh, 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 oh. Wait, does he have a door in his hand? Oh, he does. He busted it on my door. He's, he's stealing things. He's stealing my wheat. Ah, there we go. All right, so here we go. Way back in October, we built this automated wheat farm. You can see the water go wee down there. Yeah, we'll clean that up later because we got some building projects to work on. So up here, this is where we're going to work on our enchanting room, portal room, and the brewing room. So give me one second, I'm going to clear this room and make it nice and square, and I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. So what we did here is, I dug down two levels, so we're down one, one step down, and then another level to put down the floor we have here. And then I believe we are nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're nine from the entrance from here. So that's how far we pushed it. And one, two, three, four. And four blocks from the cobblestone there. So there we go. So now we have this room nice and opened up. It looks pretty good. We'll jazz it up with, of course, more decorations and things like that. And over here will be our brewing area. And this will lead into our nether portal room. All right, so let's start in our crafting, or our, I mean our enchanting room. So we'll start pushing this wall in a little bit here. So we'll start digging in our wall. How far do we want to go in is the question. So let's see. Let's give our room a little bit of breathing room. So we're gonna start, see what we'll cut in here. For now, we'll see. I always like to give the entrance a little, an extra block or so. So we'll leave there two right there. So it'll be two extra blocks, you know, just a little extra padding, depending on what we want to do. There we go, cut in here. So I have some colored wool because I want to do kind of a purple floor. I'm not quite sure what I want to do for the ceiling. I don't think I have enough wool to do a purple ceiling or a black ceiling. Just don't quite have enough resources on this world. There we go. Sometimes my designs don't quite ever get to be flushed all the way out, but still fun to play on these modes hardcore survival okay so let's see let's grab this out here and we'll use this dirt as a placeholder for our enchanting table so let's see let's continue to push this wall I think we need to go two more inward all right there we go so got that taken care of so let's see what we want to do now so we got our bookcases which took absolutely forever to build. So what I want to do is bring them across here like this. We're going for a little bit more design over function. We could get away with less, but we'll just try what we can with our design for what we have. Got to maximize our resources to, you know, get the best design we want out of things. Feels like I need to go one more. Let's knock this out here and put one more layer of bookshelves. I think that will look nice. There we go. All right, we're doing good. I'm using way more book cases than I thought I would need, but at least we could have one thing that looks nice. There we go. Oh, 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 yes, I like it. I like a lot. Looks nice. So we, we don't really need this extra area over here, and we don't quite oh, have to have this many in here, but I think it looks nice. There we go. So let's put in our torches so we can see what we're doing. And let's see, we're going to place our bench right about there there we go and let's see do we have our torches no we don't so let's head back to our box and grab out our redstone torches there we go and this is always kind of a cool little design to put them in here and then it gives the room kind of a moody effect sometimes monsters spawn in them so we just put a door here so we can keep them out there we go put that there 
It's weird, I built this this particular design on a server. In one server, the monsters spawn all the time in here. In the other one, they never did. So it was kind of weird. I could never figure out what the difference was. There we go, okay. Put that back there. I always liked this design. I always wanted to build it in a video. I just, I just like how you put the black wool back there. What's even cooler is if you have your portal set up and you can go into nether and get the soul sand and put those back there or use a soul sand floor in here to kind of make a little sinister magical room. It looks really cool. So let's just carve out our floor. There we go. Our pickaxe is just about gone. So we'll do a nice purple floor. So let's grab out our other pickaxe. Finish up that. Grab out our purple floor. We don't have enough to do a blue floor, so we'll do a purple. There we go. Perfect. All right. I know it looks a little funny at first, kind of this, the crafting or the enchanting table is pushed in a little bit, but I think it looks kind of cool. It makes the room look a little bigger, having it pushed a little farther into the room like that. All right, there we go. So let's do some finishing touches here. Let's get rid of this dirt up here. There we go. Perfect. All right, that looks really nice. And probably, let's let's knock those out and show you kind of what it looks like. Doesn't that look cool with the kind of purple and the redstone torches? But because this is hardcore, I think I'm gonna leave the lights up here for now so we don't have any more mobs spawning in that area. So give me one second, I'll be right back. I'm gonna spruce up this room. All right, welcome back and take a look at that. I think that looks pretty darn cool. For a limited resource world, I think we came up with something pretty good for not that many uh, uses of our resources. Book cases did take a long time to get those, but I think it was pretty simple. Pretty simple design, didn't take a lot of resources to make something look pretty darn cool. For, and there we go. So let's put our torches up here so we don't get any extra mob spawning. But yeah, it kind of has that kind of, uh, kind of spooky, sinister, magical feel in here. Kind of got our redstone torches black uh, inlay back there. We might do something with the ceiling later on when we collect more wool for our ceiling. But for now, I think that looks pretty darn awesome. And of course here, this is where we're gonna have our brewing room. And on this side is going to be our portal to the nether. So yeah, well guys, I hope you enjoyed our return to our hardcore series. And if you wanna to continue to see the series, definitely let me know. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and we'll see you later. Today's episode, we will be touring this beautiful Southwest inspired adobe house built with the new hardened clay block. Whoa!